it's early February 2018 and in October 2014 I came up here because everything was about to change and change forever and at the time there's a lot of controversy over what was going to happen it's the impact on our local moorland there's many reasons the pros the cons but we are in the 21st century and we do need renewable energy and yes there's a reason and that's the reason it's the Crook Hill wind turbine farm you've got Yorkshire over there Lancashire and Greater Manchester whenever I come home that's my home there Blackstone Edge I see that I know I'm home but now I see the turbines it's changed people are concerned about the impact on the local wildlife the habitat and the birds the local mountain bikers love it they've got new trails to ride on this used to be so boggy and useless you couldn't ride on it and I'll start this video right back at the beginning where I was in October 2014 near Watergrove so we'll just go back four years in time and I'll be just over there Watergrove today and I'm going to film around all the moors that are about to change because there's a wind turbine farm going up along here. It's already started to change as well. You can see here on this middle hill there's a huge mound going up already which has really altered the landscape and the horizon. I'm on Rough Hill now, 1,400 foot above Watergrove and the new road's been built here now, just about make it out. It's that boggy all round here, they've had to do quite a major build up here with um, hardcore to make the road you can make out now the the track is a massive crater here which we'll have a look at let's look at this the size of this huge That looks like coal, like a seam of it. You can see it running all around. You can see here where they've filled the concrete in around the uh, steel lattice structure but there's one more back over there we can look at where it's not been uh, concreted yet and then that's going to form the column
this will be the the base to go into the the section they've left open. It's thick stuff. Look at that. Now, what's that about? 50 mil, 40 mil. Looks like they've made some progress on the wind turbines now where the base will be here. A few weeks ago this was all one massive crater and they've put the, uh, the column into the, the, um, that lattice structure now, steel. This is it. Then it's going to go straight up there. now and I've come to have a look up at the turbine on Crook Hill. We've got one up already. This is the first wind turbine up on Crook Hill. They've put the uh, furthest turbine. So we're um, we're kind of above Walsden over here and Ready Shore over there. So they've, they've made this road really good now. It's quite compact. Last time I was up here, it was a quagmire. It really was mucky. 
and there's some action going on. Deer, big crane. Just have a look inside one of these columns. You can see the ladders. This looks like one of the, the, uh, the top capstans. It's not metal. What's inside? Oh, it's got like a caravan. Window. What does this say here? It says escape plan. Your location. Here. Oh, I wonder if that's a parachute. Ah, there. So there's some kind of hatch out with a harness. Here, this is the, the top uh, engine house that's up there. What we got? Now oh, that's where that roof will go up here.
It's a misty morning on October the 25th, 2015. And as you can see, the wind turbines are up and finished and running. These things are absolutely massive. The size of that. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,